welcome back. I've got a really unusual and fun experiment for you today. This one goes under the unusual name of the Chinese tea pet, Chinese tea toy or Chinese pee pee boy. A few years ago, my partner got the chance to study Mandarin in China. So I joined her out there and we went to Shanghai and then to Beijing. And when we were in Beijing, I came across these little fellas in the market and was slightly embarrassed because I didn't know what they were and I didn't want to ask. Um, and then later on in the day, um, my partner came back with one as a present for me. And I thought, oh, this will make a fantastic uh, physics toy. And it took me a while to work out what it was and um, how it worked. Um, so I asked some of my Chinese students, and it was interesting, those from Hong Kong seemed to have no idea. But those from mainland China had seen them before. And uh, one of my boys, one of my tutees, Tom, said to me, oh yeah, I remember this when I was a child and very young. It was one of my favourite fun toys that came out at tea time. So today what I'd like to do is to show you what this is, how it's used, and why it's great fun. So these little fellas are made of yi sing clay, the same clay that the unglazed red coloured Chinese teapots are made out of. And there's evidence that these tea toys or pee pee boys have been around since the Yuan dynasty, which was about the 1200s. And they played a major part in the sort of fun and ceremony of having Chinese tea. So what we're going to do now is get one working. Right, let's get him working. Now, I'm not suggesting that the method I use here is exactly the same one as the Chinese use when they're making tea, but I find it's the way that you get the best result. So, I'm going to put him in a beaker or a teacup, and I'm going to gently pour over him some boiling water, so some hot water. And you'll notice he floats a bit, and that's because uh, he's full of air. So I'm going to let him soak in the hot water for a little while. And do you notice the bubbles coming out of him? So he's got a little hole and out of that bubbles of air are coming out. Now that's important because we've warmed him up and the air inside is getting warmer, is expanding and there's only one hole. So that's where the bubbles are coming out. And we're going to use that to explain how he works a bit later on. So you can definitely see the bubbles coming out now as the air inside expands and comes out of the only hole that's actually in the little tea boy. So he's been in the hot water for quite a while now and I think a lot of the air inside him has been pushed out because it's expanded. So what I now do is I take him out and I immerse him completely in some cold water. So what's going to happen here, of course, is that the air inside is going to contract because it gets colder and instead of blowing air out of the hole it's going to suck water back into the body of the tea boy. Right, he's been in the cold water for quite a while now and you'll notice that he's almost sunk because he's sucked in quite a lot of cold water. So what we're going to do in a second is take him out and pour over his head the boiling water that we want to make our Chinese tea out of. So now for the fun bit. I'm told that the Chinese, to check whether their boiling water is hot enough to make good Chinese tea, get their little Chinese tea boy and they pour a little bit of the boiling water over him. And I think now you can probably see where he gets his name from. So that's the Chinese tea pet, tea toy or pee pee boy. When we first got him and poured boiling water all over him, the air expanded inside and blew out of him. We put him into cold water, the air inside contracted and water was sucked inside his body. And now when we pour boiling water back over him, the air expands and back out comes the water. So, I hope you enjoyed that experiment, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.